alert. This video could be the most impactful video you have ever seen in your machine learning journey, in your artificial intelligence journey, in your quantitative finance journey. This video might change the way you are thinking about the machine learning until now. Because in this video, I'm going to reveal the big why, why you should learn the maths before you start the machine learning journey. The basic maths, very basic maths. And I'm sure that I'll clear all your why's that why you should learn it before you jump to the machine learning and AI and quant paths. Because many of us amazing people leave the journey midway. They just prefer to take a U-turn, which is not good. Because the level of maths required is not that much deeper, not that much complex if you're not going into the machine learning research field. Otherwise, any of us can handle the basic maths. You just need a positive mindset, a learning mindset. That's it. And I'll show you today that why we're going to learn the statistics part of the maths first. And this will cover most of the part and remaining part like the, the probability and the linear algebra and the calculus we will learn along the way. So before starting the video, let me share a personal experience of me, which happened with me today only before starting this video. What happened? If you follow the cricket, then you know that India has won the T20 World Cup after 17 years. And it was really a big win for the India. I didn't watch the full match, but I just watched the Roy Sharma's winning interview. It was my last game as well. Um, honestly, uh, I have enjoyed since the time I started playing this format. And the retirement announcement of the Virat Kohli. Um, this was going to be my last T20 World Cup playing for India. It's time for the next generation to take over. Virat Kohli, one of the greatest players of the cricket world, announced the retirement today. So while watching the retirement videos, I stumbled upon a video of him talking about the most impactful time of his life, which changed his life completely. So I'll just share that video link also in the description. So please watch that video. And let me tell you what happened with me. While watching the video, I watched the video four to five times. And each time I watched the video, I broke down emotionally. Because I can relate with that, that what was the biggest why which led Virat Kohli to become the greatest player of the world in the cricket world. So each one of us has to find out the why, why we want to do this. Anything in your life. If you want to go, please first find the why. If you are able to find the why, then the how becomes very easy. So please watch the video and let me know if you also felt the same emotion and share with all of us your experience, your emotions in the comments. If you want, you can also DM me, we can discuss and we can find out your why together. Because I felt chills in my body. I felt so much of positive energy in myself while watching the video. So that was a small incident. Please watch the video and let me know your experience in the comments. Okay, so now let's get back to the video. And let me tell you the big whys of statistics in machine learning or data science. Okay, now let's get started with the 10 big whys and where we use the statistics part of the mathematics in data science, machine learning, and quant trading. First, data understanding. So statistics provides the tools to understand and interpret data distributions and relationships. For example, analyzing stock price volatility. So traders use the standard deviation to find the price volatility of any stock, which helps them to decide when to enter and when to exit the trades. It can be also useful in detecting the seasonality in the commodity prices. Statistics tools like autocorrelation and Fourier transforms help identify the seasonal patterns in the commodities like the oil or the natural gases. We can also use the statistics to evaluate trading volume anomalies. We can identify the days with unusually high or low trading volume. The second big why and where we can use these statistics in quant trading, which is the model validation. Statistical tests help validate the assumptions underlying trading models. For example, we can use the t-tests or ANOVA to confirm if changes in an algorithm's parameters lead to statistically significant improvement in the trading performance. Like we can use the historical data to test a trading strategy would have been profitable under past conditions. We can also apply the statistical test 
to compare the performance of two algorithms on the same data set to determine which is more effective. We can also use the error metrics like RMSE, root mean, squared error to validate the accuracy of the forecast. The third big why, risk assessment. Statistics allows the quantification and management of financial risk. We can use it to calculate the value at risk, VAR, to estimate the maximum loss over a given period of time. At a certain confidence interval, we can use the statistical models for the stress testing to simulate the worst case trading scenarios to understand the potential losses. We can also use it to analyze the sensitivity to examine how changes in the market factors affect the performance of a trading strategy. The fourth big why, error measurement. Statistics is essential for measuring and correcting the prediction errors in trading algorithms. For example, we can use the predictive model error rates to analyze the error rates of a stock price prediction to refine the algorithms. It can be also used in the analysis of the error trends. So we can monitor the change in the error metrics over a period of time to detect when a model might be drifting out of accuracy. We can also use for the benchmarking errors to compare the prediction error of a new model against established benchmarks to evaluate the improvement. The fifth big why. Feature selection. We can use statistical techniques to identify and select significant features for model improvement. For example, the correlation analysis to identify the highly co-related market indicators that can be predictors for the algorithmic trading models. It is significantly used in the principal component analysis, PCA, one of the most important topic which we will understand shortly to reduce the dimensionality of a data set while retaining those characteristics that contribute most to its variance. It has its own importance in ranking the random forests, which stock market feature contribute most to predicting stock movements. The sixth big why optimization techniques. For example, we can use it to optimize our portfolio by using mean variance optimization to determine efficient frontier for a portfolio of stocks. It is widely used to tune or optimize the parameters of any algorithm such as the learning rate in gradient descent to achieve the best performance. It can be also used to adjust the strategies dynamically based on statistical indicators to maximize the profitability. The seventh big why performance metrics because understanding statistical performance metrics is the key to evaluate the model efficacy. For example, to calculate the Shapir ratio, to assess the risk adjusted return of an investment to evaluate the strategy performance. We also use this in comparison using Sortino ratio to differentiate the performance of portfolios by measuring the returns relative to the downward risk. It is also widely used in tracking error evaluation by measuring how consistently a portfolio follows the benchmark or the index it is supposed to emulate. The eighth big why, overfitting prevention. Statistics provides various methods to diagnose and prevent overfitting in machine learning models. For example, we can use the techniques k-fold cross-validation to ensure that a machine learning model generalizes well to the new data. Applying methods like L1 and L2 regularization to prevent machine learning models from overfitting. It can be also used to reduce the model complexity by removing unnecessary predictors to improve the model robustness. The ninth big why, hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing in statistics is crucial for making informed decisions based on data. For example, we can conduct market efficiency testing to identify the exploitable anomalies. It can be also used to compare the strategies to identify the efficacy of different trading algorithms and it has its own significance in economic events like to analyze the impact of macroeconomic events on stock prices through hypothesis testing. The last but not the least, 10th big why, predictive analytics. For example, we can use time series forecasting models like ARIMA 
and other statistical techniques to forecast future market trends based on historical data. It is widely used in sentiment analysis. It analyzes the sentiment data from news articles or social media platforms to predict the future market movements. And it is also used in behavioral pattern recognition. For example, we can use cluster analysis to identify the behavior pattern in the trader and that might indicate the upcoming market movements. And with that being said, we have covered almost everything in quant trading where we will be using this statistics and in future we will cover almost all the topics which we have mentioned in this session. And also please if you have any doubt let me know in the comments we can discuss it in the future. Until then bye bye take care have a nice day. We'll see you in the next video.